it's me Jody from O'Neill Steels and I'm back with another haul video for you today. Um, I went to Goodwill yesterday, it was $1.99 day um, for the pink tags and I'm going to show you guys what I got. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Uh, my name is Jody, and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, any other platform I can get my hands on. And I do this full time. I flip items on the internet. <laughs> um, if this is not your first time, thanks for coming back and watching more of my videos. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I got and hopefully give you a little bit of a sense of um, the things that I pick up and maybe what they're gonna sell for. We'll see <laughs> if I get that far. Um, but yeah, without further ado, if you saw in the thumbnail, my favorite thing that I got today um, or yesterday rather is this Patagonia. This is a cinchilla snap tee pullover um, size medium here. I'll show you the tag right there. And it, these printed ones do really well. I haven't looked up comps on them or anything, but I've seen them on Instagram selling pretty well. So hopefully at least 60 is what I'm hoping for. If I get more awesome basically is my whole philosophy for this guy. Um, I did pay up for this. This was not on sale. It's $15. So that's paying up for me considering my um, cost of goods. I try to keep right around $3 an item. Um, yeah, it was a little higher this trip. I don't know exactly, but I know it was higher. This is a Stay Real Airy swimsuit bag. It's got like the little breathable spots there. Um, it is new with tags. For $30. I don't know who's paying $30 for this. Maybe it was a gift with purchase kind of thing. Um, but it was a pink tag, so it was only $2. Um, I saw it last time I was there and I was like, I'm not paying five bucks for this, but I will pay two bucks. So here we go. Then I got this Carolina K dress. Um, I had never heard of this brand, but the tag really intrigued me. And then it has this really pretty, I don't know if this is real leather, I think it's faux leather, but silk print on it. And you can see the print is almost like masks and dancing people. It's very ethnic, is that what I want to say? I'm not exactly sure what culture it's trying to represent. Um, but it's really, really cool and interesting. And then these, these triangle pieces are very cool. Um, looking up the brand, it looks like it's sold at Free People, Anthropology, um, a lot of that kinds of places. <laughs> I know, really helpful information. But there's only one listed on Poshmark. It's listed for $120. Um, and that one's damaged. This one is not. Uh, so we'll see. Sold for this brand, um, it kind of depends. Some of them go for 30, some of them go for well over 100. I don't know, but I'm gonna list it high and if I need to take an offer, I will, but I think this is a really beautiful dress. It is a size extra small. So here's the actual dress if you wanna see what it looks like. It's just like a fit and flare with the button front um, neckline, so. Then I got this Aviva tank top size 14. I'm surprised this was still there. It was $2. So it's made it weeks on weeks, but it's just like a space dye racer back tank top. I guess maybe because it was $5. I don't know, but it's been there since October 17th. And today is November 3rd, which is coincidentally my birthday. So happy birthday to me. And it's also election day. So, you know, here we are. I got this Rachel Rachel Roy sweater. This one was two dollars, size small. Uh, here's a pink tag. I mostly got it because it's two bucks, but I love this texture on it. It's got a speckle knit, and then it's got like this inside-out seaming details, drop sleeve, mock neck, everything you want in a sweater, basically. <laughs> ribbed, ribbed is big this year, so got it. This was $2. It's just a Z by Zella t-shirt. It's like a corally orange color. 
This isn't like the most exciting of brands. I think it's sold at like Nordstrom Rack, maybe. But for $2, it's brand new. Maybe I'll be able to get 15, maybe 20 if I'm lucky. Uh, let's see. Rails, size small. Um, a bunch of this stuff I think came from the same person. I went and looked at the new rack that they had waiting to get put out and a bunch of the stuff came from there or it was like in the same size but like in different departments. So I'm pretty sure that a lot of this came from like one donation. So yeah, size small. So it's like a cropped flannel. Normally the regular flannels are a little bit longer than this but this needs work. It's got pilling under the arms. And yeah, some loose threads, but I'm going to trim those and get those taken care of. I can usually sell those in like the $30 range, especially because that one's like not in the best condition. Tallulah, size extra, extra small slash extra small. I did pay $4 for this. It's wrinkly, <laughs> but it's a kimono style top. I have one of these listed in my closet that's velvet. So I'll be able to just copy and paste the listing. That's like my favorite thing is to be able to just like not have to write anything new. I could just cross out velvet and put light pink, <laughs> you know, makes it easy. This is an Everlane top size extra small, just like a color blocked dolman. It almost looks like a baseball tee. You know how it has like the rings, and, but like opposite of that, but also modern. And kind of cropped and boxy which is you know my favorite thing to buy if you've watched any of my other hauls cropped and boxy everything this is an equipment femme top size extra small this is also very cropped very short for a very small person but it does have a spot right here where the threads are coming undone i did try to trim them and i think i made it worse so that's okay it will still sell Hopefully around 30, 25 to 30. I paid $5 for this one, which is probably too much, but I didn't notice it was damaged and all that. There you go, jeans. Size 26 short, authentic flare. These were $2. Uh, new tags. They're a mid-rise, which really isn't ideal, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure these were being sold while I was working at Gap. We're gonna look, because <laughs> we have time, why not? Uh, fall of 2015, so yes. I worked there from 2013 to 2015. <laughs> this is like right at the end, when they introduced the authentic um, fabric, you know, authentic flair. Um, I wear boot cut jeans. I don't know. A lot of people don't, but I do, and uh, they're hard to find. So I, I'm going to be that person that sells them because someone wants them. Um, this is an icebreaker top, 100% merino wool. Say nice, small. It's a bright orangey red color, mostly red, like a fire engine red. Um... There's no holes, but there was an extra large one that was like the exact same thing, except for that one had a stain on it. So I had to leave it behind and I was sad because these sell really well. Hopefully in 30, 25 to 30, I'll have it listed for 35 probably and then take an offer. Um, this was five bucks and I'm happy paying five bucks for that one. This was six bucks. This is a Babaton fabric made in Japan. Size two, a little black sheath dress, simple, mini. It almost reminds me of the Go Weave stuff that um, Everlane uses that's from Japan, but it's not quite the same thing. Triacetate, I think that that's what the Go Weave is made from as well. But, black dress. <laughs> Um, also, I have all of my boxes piled up right here. I ordered so many boxes from USPS um, that I have nowhere to put them all. <laughs> I didn't think about storage. So um, here's a little sneak peek. There's all my boxes. So many boxes. 
Oh no, is that not gonna stay now? Okay, <laughs> we're good. Um, <laughs> but it works for like doing this because then I have a surface to put it on. This is a Gymshark tank top. This one's a size medium. Um, this is for when you have to wear a shirt at your gym but you really hate short shirts because it's sheer. And this is the back and this is the front. It's literally attached right there. That's it. So when you're wearing it, it like flows behind you. So when you're one of those people that doesn't like wearing shirts and you just want to wear your sports bra, I've got the shirt for you. Regular old Gymshark shirt. This one's also a size medium. I've sold this one before in pink. So again, I'll be able to copy the listing. The best. It's purple. This one was five. The tank top, I think, was three. Three. I like that. That's good. <laughs> Cheap clothes. That's not my way to go. Blue and gray size small. This one's new with tags, which is pretty much why I got it. But also, it was only $2. Um, sage green color. With these heathered sleeves. But I also like selling low and gray. And I like selling loft, but I really will only get them at the bins or if they're really cheap. Um, and if I like the style. So I like the style on that one. This was exciting. My very first time finding this brand. This is a high-end, uh, like, denim. They mostly do denim. Um, brand McGuire is what it's called. These are a size 25. And they are just a cargo, so not exactly the most trendy of their styles, but at least it's a skinny leg. Um, these cargo flat pockets here. And I paid $6 for these. My Goodwill never prices jeans that low. I don't know why these were so low priced, but I'm happy about it. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> there is this one flaw right there where the seaming is undone. Look at these like pocket that it's so intricate so I was very excited about these these were on the new rack as were these jeans which I'm just gonna skip through the pile too these ones were also six dollars mark by Mark Jacobs stick stick these are a size mystery uh, 28 so maybe these aren't from the same person because those were 25 right this says the black. There's not a style name or anything. I wonder if stick is the style name. I don't know. But they're black, but kind of also blue. One of those things. And I think it's more of like a straight, or like a pencil fit. There's a snag on the back here that I'm seeing now, but overall they're okay. They feel like they're broken in, which is, you know, always a good thing when you're buying jeans. You want them to be comfortable. This I got because I liked it. <laughs> Six dollars. Uh, CC, which I don't think is much of anything, but size eight. Dress. Like a knee, probably. Yeah, knee length dress. It's got this pin tucking here at the bodice. It's really pretty. Tassel tied the neckline and then these sheer long sleeves I thought it was pretty it's like a good fall floral that's what I explained to my husband when I was showing him everything I got speaking of fall florals Diane von Furstenberg size 8 fall floral um, it's very sheer so you cannot see it I will hold it in front of me so you might be able to see it a little bit better but it's black with like blue it is silk it does have the well, hologram down here. Holograph? Holographic. Holographic. Little lips. Um, but I think someone might have washed it incorrectly. Do what you can. Um, it's not nearly as, like, smooth as it should be. A little bit rougher. I don't know. Maybe someone washed it in cold water instead of dry cleaning. It'd be really pretty. Like, seamed blazer, colorless blazer jacket. It's got like a tweed knit to it. Um, I wonder what it's made of. Let's check, shall we? It's made of, oh, a lot of stuff. <laughs> I overestimated. 
underestimated cotton acrylic polyester nylon that's the gist um it's really pretty hoping to sell it for around 80. I think Fisher does very well for me I know a lot of people do not like selling it or they cannot sell it um, most of like my high dollar sales are actually Eileen Fisher because I just list it as high as I want to and then take decent offers. That's, that's my philosophy for Eileen Fisher. Because when people find things that they want, they know that they want them and they know this brand is expensive. I'm not out here buying every piece. I buy things that I think still look modern and would fit in a normal wardrobe. I'm not <laughs> buying the ugliest things or the really basic, basic things like their tank tops or t-shirts. I stopped buying those. But sweaters, I buy a lot of their sweaters and those are what really sell for me. So I got this Ellis and Olivia size two. This was actually like the first like nice thing that I found. Um, cause I looked through like one row of sweaters and then I went to the dresses and this was there and I was like, Oh, that's nice. Then after that, I went through the other half of the sweaters and then the new rack and that's when I was like, Oh, okay. This was $6. Um, it's just a sheet. It's like a, I don't want to say burlap, but like a canvas color, uh, simple little tank with this orange trim. I think it's really pretty. Oh, it does have an exposed zipper in the back. Show that off. And it's lined. I wonder if it's linen. That's where I'm looking right now. Yeah, 100% linen. Beautiful. Okay. Next, I got this soft jaw size. Can't read it. Medium. Uh, wider neckline, rolled sleeve little t-shirt. That was two bucks. I don't know if I said that. It was two dollars. And this was also two dollars. Splendid. Size large. I really don't buy this brand very often um, anymore. It doesn't really sell, but it had the Nordstrom return tag on it. Split neck top with rolled sleeves. Um, yeah. One more thing. Pause for a second. I got this. This is a Furbo. If you've never heard of a Furbo before, there are these machines that um, you can watch your dog and it will throw out treats. There's an app for that. <laughs> so you just put the treats in there and then you can click a button and it will give your dog a treat. <laughs> It'll spit it out. <laughs> It's really cool. People pay money, but like good money for these. Um, sold on Mercari are right around a hundred. Uh, mine is missing the cord, but I have spares. So this is just a random white universal cord and a random plug that I'm going to send with this. I'm going to say it's not, doesn't have the original manufacturing cord manufactured cord um but it has a replacement cord so that way someone doesn't need to think like oh it doesn't even come with a cord i'm not gonna buy that it does it's just not the real one um only issue is at goodwill they charged me 40 dollars for this and i somehow didn't notice it until i got home the sticker on there said 4.99 and it's the only electronics item that i got so i know it was this and i don't know what's gonna go on with that I'm hoping to go to Goodwill today, see if they can fix it. Um, I'll even take store credit at that point because I spent all my money at Goodwill anyway. But even at $50, like $40, it was $39.99. Um, I would still make money on this. But <laughs> I want to have paid $4.99 instead because that's what the price was. Um, I already took the sticker off, which is unfortunate because then we did dinner and I put all the dinner stuff on top of it. But I have a picture of the price because I posted it on Instagram. If you guys want to see more content from me, you can always follow me on there. Um, you get all the best dibs on all the things. Um, and you get to see what I do every day as a full-time reseller if you're interested in that. Um, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up on the way out. 
And if you want to be notified whenever I post new videos, you can hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell so that it will give you a push notification whenever I put up a new video. If you want to keep watching, I have lots of thrift hauls and lots of what's old videos available on my channel. You can just click into the playlists section and go from there. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching this video and I hope you guys have a great day. Um, enjoy my birthday for you or for me or something like that. <laughs> November 3rd. It's a great day. <laughs> Bye.